Good morning. Afternoon. I can't, well, I'm not holding it, so there's no ribbons in it, see? Okay. So it'll just blow right off my head. <laughs> Is that your real accent? Uh, I live here, yes. You do, yeah? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm uh, 1627 is the year master. Okay. So uh, we all live in here. Anyone okay. dressed like me lives here. Can be in New yeah. England. Yeah. Yeah. Neighbour had an overabundance of tansy. It is a useful uh, purge after okay. winter time, being hot and dry in its nature, and so many cold and wet uh, humours after winter time. So to dry the humours. And the spring often had the shoot um, fried with eggs and herbs on the some uh, crumbs of bread, a little spice, or uh, milk if you have got it. Bind it all together and then fry it. And so a good remedy. All right, okay. It will rid you of ants as well. Of oh, what? Ants. Ants? No. What, you get a lot of ants here? Well, I suppose here. Anywhere. <laughs> Do not you? Yes. I wish some of the ants. Don't worry. Where, where to come you? What part? London. Oh, what part of London? North. Hertfordshire. Or? No, no, at the outskirts. No, oh. North London. So truly not London then. No, we are from London. No, but it, it, we call it London. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we are come from Oldgate, just beyond it. Um, St. Bottles Parish. Oh, okay. Yeah. But diverse from diverse parts of London, of course. Yeah. Right. I know the church. Oh. <laughs> you know the church? Yeah, St. Bottles, yeah, I know where it is. Oh. All day, yeah. You've been there? Yeah. He's been to the church. Yeah. Oh, truly? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent, good. Yeah. Good. And what is your trade, pray? My trade? Mm? I am, um, you would know, might know, black cab driver in London. Yeah. Black cabs who drive around London. A cat, you're a taxi, ta ta taxi driver. That's it. Taxi driver. You know, might be horse and cart. Oh, you're a carter then. Yeah, yeah taking right. people around. Excellent, excellent, good. No horses, not one in all of New England, I fear. No. No, no carts. Well, that would be easy enough. To have uh, wheels brought from England, but no. Um, ox, they tell me, would be more useful. Of course, it's all new to me. I've never farmed before, but. Uh, for pulling ploughs and the like. There's no roads here neither, right. so everyone travels by foot or by water. Oh, right. Keeps you fit and healthy. I suppose. <laughs> Good day. God grant you the yeah. same. Bye-bye. Alors, le lieu, c'est Pontaudon, et le village, c'est Pontaudon. Got that, you've got to put a lesson there, didn't you? I've got to put a lesson, I've got to put a Yeah, it's made of iron. I live down the street, my daughter's a washing of the dishes. So they don't need to. You can live inside. It's very dark. 
Well, they're not going to learn to do it if I do it all the time. It is uh, no worry about walking out the sun. <laughs> Good day, sir. Mr. Um, Fuller, sorry. he's a surgeon, he's a deacon, um, so he's, to me, I call him Master Fuller, and his wife, I call her Mistress Fuller. Okay. Elbows on your husband's son, okay. his trade is. Okay. But there's going to be a man coming in who's a gentleman, and he's higher ranking than everybody here, by birth, he's a gentleman. And so. What year is this? 1627. And where did you come from? Originally, um, well, I'd spent some time in Kent, in Canterbury, and uh, London for a little while. I was born in Flanders, and um, so I'm not English. My husband. Flanders in Holland, yeah. What's that? Flanders in Holland. Uh, yeah. In um, and it's with Flemish. It's the oh, Belgium, Flanders, yeah. Um, the Leo, you know Leo. Yeah, yeah, I know Leo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so we were re we were part of the. Protestant ones that had to flee, and they went into England. Um, some went to London. There were Walloon congregations in London, in Canterbury, and then my family went to the Netherlands. So that was when I was very little. So I can speak a native Dutch, I speak Dutch. I know a little French because of my age when we left, um, I went to England. My husband's from Norwich, from Norfolk, England. Okay. Where are you from? What Luxembourg. Luxembourg. La London. We're London. We're inside, uh, inside the wall? No, outside. Outside. Over yeah. the river? Yeah, yeah, we're north of the river. North yeah. of the river. So, yeah, yeah. Um, my neighbour, I have a neighbour from Bermondsey. South of the that's river. That's south of the river. Uh, that's south of the that's river. That's the south bank, yeah. That's yeah. Um, the bank side. Although, when you went over the bridge into Suffolk, for us, it's not London. For no. us, it's uh, London's inside the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, then, uh, so when you went over the bridge, uh, cause at night time the gates get shut. And uh, on the bridge, there's four stories, all different shops and stuff, you know. And uh, when you go over into Bermondsey, um, if you went to starboard side to the right, there's uh, the bank side. And then if you kept going, um, Mr. Hicks, Robert Hicks, he lived on a lane, uh, Pepper Lane was the name of it. And uh, his family's from Bermondsey. He's still there, Pepper Lane. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And um, he was a fellmonger over there. So he worked with uh, hides, animal hides. Um, I did spend a little bit of time in Houndsditch, London. Houndsditch. Houndsditch, it's near, that's near um, Allgate, yeah. Right. Know, yeah. And, um, there's a place there called um, Henniage House, and it had been, after the uh, Reformation, had been broken up into tenements, and um, so some of us who are, you know, with the Reformed churches, we had friends that around there that you could, if you needed shelter, you could go there. Other, there's another person from Stepney, London. Yeah. Yes. And somebody from Aldgate. Um, oh, I've been, you know, to uh, Virgin Lane and Petticoat Lane, and London has all these gates around in it, uh, in the wall, and um, all those gates at night all shut. 
Oshad. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people inside. Where did you sell from? Um, <coughs> well, the Mayflower had... Um, so that, the master of that ship had originally been from Essex, from Harwich in Essex. And then he moved to Rotherhide. And so that was later on in his life. But um, his ship, he was part owner of the Mayflower, the one that carried us here. And um, I think it was around the Isle of Dogs is where he was moored. I didn't board that there. I was on a ship coming from the Netherlands. And so this had already been arranged. We were going to meet together in Southampton. And we did. And so. Um, our ship had loosed from Delft's Hive in Holland at the end of July, 1620, and the Mayflower left out of London, and we met in Southampton August 6, 1620, the two ships. Okay. Yeah. From Southampton you sailed from? Uh, for the first attempt. Right. Uh, it leaked, our ship leaked. So we made it across the North Sea into Southampton, but then when everything was finally well, the argument stopped. The men were arguing with each other about supply, and we were missing 600 pounds sterling, and oh, you should have seen the arguments in Southampton. Uh, we had to sell butter, all our butter supply to pay a debt to clear the port, and oh, it was, uh, I'm surprised we even made it out of Southampton. Um, but, so that was uh, August 6th, and then our ship, the Speedwell, we sprung a leak. So on the ship, do you know, do you understand that in betwixt the planks is oakum? Do you know about that? In, in betwixt planks on ships is uh, rope. It's called oakum. It's old rope that's all unfurled and then it's caulked in with pitch. And so that was spewing and we had to, we were leaking. So we went back into Dartmouth in Devon, England ended up spending a fortnight in Devon, in Dartmouth, and going out again, the ship was mended, so we went out again, the Mayflower and the Speedwell, and we were off of Cornwall, off Land's End, yeah. and we were out 100 leagues, at least 100 leagues, and it started leaking again. We were taking water on again, on the Speedwell. And so we ended up putting back into Plymouth, and that's where it got decided that just the greater vessel would continue and the Speedwell would stay in England. Right, okay. And we got divided. So we, well, we couldn't all fit on the Mayflower. Well, there was already 70, at least 70 on it. Um, so my husband went with our oldest son and I stayed in England. Master Sipsy. Yes. Did you find uh, my husband go to the boat? Yes, he went to the second group. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, yes. Yeah. So quite This is Master Sibsy, and he got shipwrecked um, off the coast, off the sea side. Reminds that person Mary Wish. No, yes, just like that. We were speaking with one of your servants. Oh, oh yes. Pause. Yes, I, I, I have tried to bring the best. Let me fetch you some water to drink. Thank you. See, um, it's a I have tried to bring water. the best that I could, but there is one does uh, wish to get as much land as he can as soon as he arrive in Jamestown. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Did she say that you had 15 along with you? Uh, it is about a dozen with me, but there is another uh, gentleman that is that has. Oh, just thank you. Uh, a gentleman that has my 15. And uh, yes, yeah, some Irish servants, but uh, they know enough English that he can tell them things in there. Uh, to speak. You say you say a uh, grave and a haggith or something like that to say thank you. And they, they'll happily move along. And so you get fifty acres for each head. It was either I think it was fifty acres of land. Something about that. It's been so long now. <laughs> Eight months of just weeding about these fields. <laughs> And They're very industrious, though, you say, right? Yes, they have uh, tried to have them as much as possible, but I hope to be without them, unless anybody mm -hmm. has a ship that can fit 40 people inside. No? Yeah, they're from England, and where are you folks from? Well, William Penn hasn't made it here yet. Do you come to herald his arrival? Yes. We live in Penn's woods, but he doesn't quite make it. We have one here, Christian Penn. 
married uh, the Eaton fellow. Mm. I was just speaking, did you know Mr. Hicks? I was I do, speaking yeah. about Mr. Hicks a little earlier. The one from Berman Zealand. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, it is Lincolnshire. Most of you. Yeah, it is. Uh, have you been there? No. No, it is. Uh, well, it is not London, but it is also not London. So you weren't it there, is. were you, when we were getting No. Um, well, run out was I? I guess seven as years a child, ago, when, uh, when you were trying to board a ship to go over to Holland. I was about, Boston. yeah, I, was, I think I was about okay. and, uh, five years old when you did. We got, we got caught, and we got deceived, and the hue and cry of men and horses come at us, and everybody had to get off the ship, and the men were clapped up in prison, and the women. They knew not what to do with them, and so they passed them around from village to village, not knowing what to do with the women. And uh, that was the first attempt to get over the Holland. And uh, in Lincolnshire. In Hall and Grimsby, too, it was tried. In 1620, uh, 1608, um, when this my congregation started going over the Holland. In Grimsby, I think it was Grimsby, there was a ship hired um, in secret and the captain of it was a Dutchman and um, again we got deceived and all our husbands were boarded on the ship and here comes again we got caught and but the Dutchman he, he let the cable go and there goes the ship with all the husbands and the wives are standing there on shore again and he's singing his country's sacrament the Wilhelmus and um, there he goes, <laughs> and there's all the wives on shore. It was a hard beginning, you know, Mr. Sidley. Well said, all it is, I, I, I've not heard nearly the same sort of stories that I was born to Jamestown before right. I left here. Mm -hmm. you, do, you did have the great death at the beginning, but mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. yeah, it, is a, a, it is not in the yeah. thousands you've lost. No, I don't think, um, well, it's hot here, but I think the climate is greater, and there's not so many mis- Have you heard about the mal air? I read some of the things that John Smith wrote about this place, but mm -hmm. nothing yeah. of great and not. And the mosquitoes, and... Um, Nice to have met you. Nice to have met you. Oh, <laughs> Good day. We have a place for the night. Yeah. We do. Well, you're always welcome here. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Have Thank you.